and it's already day three here at the Armed and Security Defense Exhibition in Kiev. And as you may know, three years ago when the war began in the east of the Ukraine, uh, the country's armed forces had a critical need for unmanned surveillance systems. And that's the reason why some volunteers joined their know-how to create and propose new unmanned platforms, some of them being introduced for the first time this week in Kiev. So the PD-1 was originally manufactured uh, for the needs of the Ukrainian army when the conflict with Russia started in the east, because it happened so that when the conflict started and people tried to import any equipment related to UAVs or any UAV technologies, we faced very strict import regulations. So basically almost no country in the west was able to sell anything to Ukraine. So from there on, the group of enthusiasts, people from People's Project, that was the biggest crowdfunding platform, they got together and they decided to create a UAV of their own. So the system was developed. Of course, they, were, they used some, uh, some of the models. We had Avia modeling enthusiasts with us, so it's not a completely unique system, but it was developed and modified by us with the help of people in Ukraine for the needs of Ukrainian army. This complete system is, has four meter wingspan. We have a similar airplane with 3.2 meter wingspan. It's a little bit shorter. It weighs uh, 20 kilos empty, uh, has a 12 liter fuel tank, and is able to fly for over 10 hours with full payload, which can be up to eight kilos. The ceiling for the airplane is 3000 meters, the official ceiling. However, we are sure it can fly higher, but the reason for official 3000 meters is that we cannot officially test it anywhere higher in Ukraine. But we're pretty sure it can go higher. We tested it with the temperatures of minus 25 on the ground, and we tested it with a temperature of plus 39 on the ground with humidity in Southeast Asia, in Malaysia, when we had demo flights. Uh, the system, this com specific system, is mostly interesting for the markets with developing armies. The armies that don't ha yet have the funds, the people, to buy high-end, expensive American drones, but they need something smaller, something tactical, something that they can afford because we sell it as a complete UAV system or we sell it as airframes for some of the companies that want to develop something of their own. So one of the future prospects for the system actually came from Peru where they had a problem of delivering medicine to remote areas because the road system is underdeveloped. So the system which can be launched from the catapult and landing almost anywhere was extremely interesting for them. Plus we have a modular structure, which means that this payload bay is completely empty. And if we don't include any cameras, this can fit several boxes of medicine in it. We actually tried with official UN standard boxes and it can fit up to six boxes inside. This is our UAV called Valkyria. Uh, we started making them in 2016, uh, but we have been working with various copters and other UAVs before. So basically, uh, we have more than 14 complexes we already gave to Ukrainian armed forces. There are some uh, UAVs that we presented to our military forces, and, and there are some that were bought. Fully automated complex, it's easy to control it. Uh, the team can consist of two people or even one people. It can fly for two hours, 35 kilometers you can translate the video or photo. It allows to work with artillery using our uh, automated artillery system called Krapiva, which is also a part of our complex. I'm presenting Eslon Avia company, which is making US 
for our artillery fire correction, uh, surveillance and uh, reconnaissance tasks. Uh, for three years we are making US for our troops and we use, uh, they use our uh, unmanned aircraft uh, systems uh, in the east of Ukraine. So we have quite big uh, battlefield experience and uh, we improve our solution every day uh, to have uh, different payloads and for different tasks. So we started on May uh, 2014 and since then we made more than 40 unmanned aerial systems for our troops, uh, Ukrainian Army, uh, Security Service of Ukraine and National Guard of Ukraine. So we have state contracts and uh, we are uh, making uh, all the software by ourselves. It is made, it is based on Linux uh, solutions and uh, that is why we have uh, quite big uh, flexibility uh, to uh, improve every day all the issues uh, in order to uh, increase the efficiency of the uh, solutions. This, uh, this is a drone uh, na named Mara. Uh, we uh, start developed it three years, years ago uh, after, <laughs> after the, the beginning of the war here in Ukraine. Uh, we built it as a volunteer project, but uh, now we uh, finished official tests uh, from uh, army and uh, I, I hope very, very soon we will start uh, you, official using uh, this plane uh, but, but now we have uh, more than uh, 50 planes which used by mil military uh, uh, on Donbass. Uh, this plane has a uh, range like uh, 25 kilometers and uh, speed is uh, from uh, 20 to 30 meters per, uh, per second. Uh, endurance uh, near one and a half hour. It can carry a gimbal uh, Video camera like this one. <clears throat> uh, uh, also, we have uh, fixed focus uh, photo camera and uh, multispectral uh, uh, thermal camera and uh, daylight uh, in the same unit. This is our third model, uh, RSVKM2, uh, second generation of uh, uh, distance controlled uh, platform. Uh, right now we build a two model of this product and they work uh, on the east in uh, our conflict, uh, war conflict uh, between Ukrainian and Russian Federation. This is the third model which we represent on this exhibition. This platform is very universal and uh, he can work not only in the combat area and accept it, he can work in dem with the demine system, with uh, uh, big ammunition like this and SVT uh, with uh, 12 and 7 point caliber and maybe the small uh, type of guns. This is a very universal platform uh, which have uh, a speed range uh, from 0 till uh, 30 km per hour. We've got a possibility to give a video signal uh, from 105 km per module till operator and using a protected channel uh, which uh, control it and uh, protect it from radio jam. Uh, this model uh, have a good experience in the combat area and uh, right now it's serve one year in the Ukrainian army, like our gifts to the Ukrainian army. This is unmanned robotized platform named Laska, based on all-wheeled quadricycle. So it was re-equipped for unmanned using. It was equipped with few actuators, so we can adjust speed, adjust wheel angles, and remotely control it by means of uh, operator or in-field tablet. Our project starts about two years ago. We're trying to help our army by reducing man loose. It has moving capacity about uh, 200 kilometers. 
also it's equipped with a few cameras, uh, forward one, rear one, so it can recognize objects, uh, stop it before objects. Our robotics model can be equipped with machine gun 7.62 calibers. Optionally can be equipped with automatic grenade launcher. Our battle model also have two cameras with different angles, thermal vision, laser rangefinder and la laser pointer. Yes, we recreate this for the needs of Ukrainian Army. This is our, our uh, automatic turret that can uh, automatically detect uh, objects such as people, cars, uh, aircraft. Uh, operator can choose that object that we are interested to detect. Also, operator can choose angle of uh, detection and set action and distance to each uh, area. We set distance for the first area, the second and the third. And set action that the turret should do for each area.